Hello, viewers. I'm SB. And I'm Amabel. And welcome back to Thief the Black Parade, where I forgot to look up the lyrics to that song so I could do a bit. That I intended to... Whatever, it's fine. Hey, look, we got all the loot. It's time to actually go inside the orphanage. And maybe, once we get in there, we're going to discover that I could have gone inside the orphanage the whole time, uh, like Amabel was saying. Hey, check it out. Look at the subtitles. They're there. Oh, They're cool. present. I found a way to... I figured out how to enable them. It's a little... A little weird. It wasn't um, actually in the game menus. I had to edit a config file, but it's good. We're good now. Uh, I thought we had saved outside of the orphanage, but I guess not. Okay, let me go find the orphanage. I will admit, I have forgotten my way around the streets just the tiniest bit. This is a... Okay. It's, Actually, I, it's fine. We're going to... Yes? I have a weird question. Yeah. Can you write on the map like you could with the previous one? Oh, interesting. Yes. Okay, so it might be, you know, if we find landmarks, we might want to put them... <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, it might be that as we find landmarks, we might want to type something on the map so we know where we are in relation to other things. This is a great and powerful wisdom you have unleashed upon us. Hi. Look at that guy. That, that dude's got a powerful Deckard Cain impression. Uh, okay. Who's Deckard Cain again? Someone's probably tapping about. I don't know. Uh, Deckard Cain is a guy from Diablo. I always forget the degree to which you have not played. Oh, no, but you've shown me the Diablo cutscenes. There was an afternoon where you're like, well, I showed this you is a thing we'll do at the time. I showed, okay, you make me sound like a crazy person. <laughs> I showed you some stuff so, one time because I... Hmm. I appreciate you doing it. It was neat. What? Hmm. I'm just running oh, I'm around. Sorry. This I'm is sorry, the stinky please. well. This is where I beat up some hammers. We all remember this. It was very successful. Mm -hmm. You did it right on the first try. I, did, I remember. I did this. it right on the first try because I'm so good at the video game. Okay. So this is. We're, uh, baby. Yeah. I'm so lost. Okay. We need to find a landmark that's on the map. Hold on now. Oh, I'm stuck. I can't. I can neither go up nor down this ladder. Okay, let me try that again. Oh, there we go. I found my way into a chimney. <laughs> what on earth? What did you do? What the heck was that? I don't. I got to the top of the ladder and it like kicked me sideways off. I don't. This is the thing. They really should have done this in the Thief 2 engine. I understand like they have reasons for wanting to, to do Thief Gold, but holy shit, Thief Gold does not ladder as well. It is maybe the worst at ladders of all of the video games. Yeah, I suppose I should ask about how this controls because Thief 2 was a marked improvement over Thief 1. Yeah. But they're using the Thief 1 engine, so does it feel like Thief 1 to move around? Yeah, of course. How could it not? Okay. That's, that's literally the thing. Like, or, I mean, does it feel... It feels bad. It though. feels bad, yeah. Like... Okay. I have I have rebound the controls so that they're, mm, like, modern-ish. And that helps. Okay. So this is right. Hoggard okay. Street, although we don't know... Like, we don't know where this signpost is, nor do we know... This little thoroughfare right here is Puggard Street. I'm in the middle of Puggard Street. Or no, or that's Puggard Street. Well, that's trouble. <sighs> and Puggard Street here might refer to this, or it might refer to this whole horizontal stretch, maybe? Yeah. These maps are, they have always been borderline useless. Brunswick. And this one, I you might also, argue, is beyond the border. You also have a compass, right? No? Yes, yes. you're correct, I do. 
Oh my god, I have so many keys. Okay. North is that away. Okay, so when you're on Puggard Street. Well, I, generally I wanna be Street. I wanna be as north as possible. The the orphanage yeah. is at the north edge of town. I'm just trying to help orient. Yeah. Uh, I would like to be lower to the ground than this. I don't remember this hallway area. No, I do. I, I do. I remember running across to there and robbing all these people. That was fun. Remember, remember the good times? Remember when I was yeah. robbing everybody? Let's get back to some of that, shall we? The problem is I'm a million feet off the ground and Garrett, sorry, Hume, uh, doesn't always fall super gracefully. Okay, so White Bell Bellows heading north. So you've been to the orphanage gate so many times, it feels really silly that I can't find it now. So here's the market stalls. I think we're here, because this has this little dog leg dead end. So mm -hmm. I think if I turn right here and then just look for an opportunity to turn left, then we should be there. There, is, Of course, there might not be one. But maybe I'll jump over some things. And end up on Rotten Row. Which isn't even represented on our map. But who knows? This feels... Yeah, 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 yeah. You found Shelter it. for unfortunate young children. Okay. Here's the part where we make another save. I'm just save over yeah. that. Okay. Uh, now, we never did actually find the way in. That door is locked, and I don't have any lock picking tools. There is a waterway down there, but the color of the water makes me think that we should go literally any other direction. Here's a non interactable door. A lot of words about plagues and trials and whatnot. You know, atmosphere. Mm -hmm. That looks like it might be interactable, that grate up there. Okay. Nice if you had some rope arrows. Yeah. Hmm. Sword, blackjack, broadhead. We do have some moss, but that's it. Also, it's worth noting. Uh, none health. Actually, zero health. Uh, no health potions or anything. I'm pretty sure I have a health potion. Should you use it? You know, that's a great question. Alright. Into the gross water we go. <sighs> you know what the worst part of the gross... Wow, hi. hi, corpse. The worst part of the gross water is just like how hard it is to see in water in this video game. <sighs> Mm -hmm. Hey, look, a little bit of money. And a spider friend. And, a, well, I mean, it's dead, so. That was five coins we just picked up. I have four <laughs> healing potions. He's probably somebody's friend, though. I'm going to just sit here for a second. Let's see Let's see how long it, it takes, takes this the... to run its course and how much health it gives back exactly. Turns out it's a variable amount of health. <laughs> It probably is, right? That feels like that feels like a thing of the engine. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna take one more and then get back on the road here. It looks like two of these should be enough to put us in pretty decent shape. Then we still have we still have a little bit of juice left over. Actually, you know what? Let me let me make that save on this side of the water because I'm we're gonna die in here, right? I don't wanna necessarily be swimming through the water over and over again. It's what if you're a mite dark. What if there was a video game where you built up a tolerance to the healing items? They became less effective the more you used them. Would that be good or bad? 
Would you love that or hate? That? I, I kind of like that as a as a like a difficulty thing, right? Like in a way, like giving you giving you somewhat limited access to healing items. It's kind of a neat idea. Uh, Pleasant bedtime stories for all little masters and mistresses by Josequin Bradell. The Creeper Stalker. He's a very scary monster that likes to gobble children just like you when they are home alone. But here is the tip. When he is inside a building, he can only walk on a youngster's footprints. Mark my word, if you don't want him to swallow you whole when you are playing by yourself, take off your boots before you enter the house. That... You're <laughs> still leaving foot... Okay. These are my least favorite kind of children's stories. Finicky Vicky. She's an ugly cannibal who likes to chomp on children's meat, but she hates yucky gruel. I mean, who among us, right? So if you don't want her to come and get you, eat as much porridge as you can. It's the only way to keep her far away from you. Oh no, oh no, not Murky Larry. When the thick black smoke comes from the factories, Murky Larry drifts through the fog. Little ones who stay outside for too long get a nasty cough, and as they hack and walk, they hear a strange echo in their own coughing. This is Murky Larry casting a curse on them. If they don't return home quickly, they will start hacking so much blood they will die. I mean, I kind of like appreciate the writing of that as like a... <laughs> Hume, why would you pick that up? Just fucking leave it in the box. What is... Oh no! I so I think I think the writing is really charming, but it's it's a kind of because like yeah, because that's that's, a, that's absolutely a kind of children's story, right? To to like guide children's behavior by scaring the ever living shit out of them. I remember when I okay. Well, I'll let you read these first, and then all right, we get some Solomon Grundy shit here. Yeah, my son was big on Morn's Day. He began to drink on Tears Day. Bad was he on Steam Day. Violent was he on Vines Day. Worse was he on Fears Day. Dead was he on Baron's Day. Glad was I on Hammer's Day to bury my son on Morn's Day. And now we know the days of the week. Okay, I took a, I took a Steam screenshot of that so in case there's a puzzle yeah. later that depends on the thing. It just feels like that kind of thing, right? Yeah. Soup made by a lady wearing cat skin. It seems like the end of the poem. I head to a neighborhood where all the old ladies have disappeared. Tarts made by a lady wearing dog skin. Two shovels were sold at the tool shop. A hole as deep as a young man's height. Is that what is what am I what are we looking at here? I, I'm I'm not I can't make heads or tails of this. Again, it feels because it's nonsense, but like not in not in an in world way, it's just like a, a almost a page of gibberish. It feels like it's going to have something to do with a puzzle or something, maybe? No. <sighs> so there's one weekend where I went to uh, on a camping trip with, like, everyone, all the kids in my class went on a camping trip. And they were telling us about how we should use the buddy system. Always go somewhere with a buddy. Mm -hmm. And to impart this moral to us, they told us that there was a maniac killer out in the woods... And I was deathly afraid. Sure, as you would. Be. And, and 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 because you know ableism, the story you just killed an innocent. <laughs> I blackjacked him. I didn't know he, he was. Blackjacked. I didn't know he was going to have the most fragile skull in the kingdom. So, uh, and they told us that he had one leg, and the other leg he like would drag behind him. And that imitate like a step and a drag and a step and a drag. And that night, as I was trying to get to sleep in the cabin, I heard this, like this thump and like a drag and a thump and a drag outside. And I was so terrified. And then I realized For the last it was the time, ye idiots. I don't want to be disturbed. Leave me alone and tap off. Calm down, Dahlquist. It's oh, it's Dahlquist. That's why I... Hugh? Oh, God. Is that really you? He should be more aware. How? When? By the trickster. I didn't know you were back in this <laughs> Yeah, I arrived a few days ago. This place has changed a lot. But 
you seem to have managed by yourself. You can't believe how glad I am to see you. Bunch of lackwits I'm working with. Bah, yeah, I manage. But the work is as dull as it can be. Oh, say, I was actually looking for someone who could carry a job. You're the best, and you always come in the nick of time, you sneaky bastard. So, what do you say? Willing to help your old pal out? Well, all right. I'm all ears. We did it! Thank you, subtitles. So the sound was the kid snoring in, in the bunk above me. That's the end of that story. Oh, no way. You didn't get killed? I'm shocked. No, I didn't get killed. I was really scared. Actually, I think it's a bad idea to tell kids they'll get killed that they don't conform. Oh, I'm with you. That's... Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a barbaric way to treat a, a human being. City has had forgotten, lost behind them's walls of stone and wood, singing a wailing song, a dance of a gun agony. But some remembered and gave their blood, feasting and strutting, giving birth to their dead roofs, so it could feed from their carcass and raise the new sanctuary. It looks like Dalquest has an interesting job for me. There's a merchant in town called Monsieur Halliford, who owns a ramshackle manor in the south of Shalebridge. He fancies himself an art collector now, and possesses a precious face with diamonds that Dahlquist wants to acquire. Maybe we can pawn it to some fence afterwards for a nice sum of money. He assures me that Halliford will be away tonight, meaning he left the house to his house guards, and the word is, They've been quite lax, as they haven't been properly paid for quite some time. This is a perfect opportunity to get in, steal that shiny trinket, and get out quietly. Dahlquist has provided me with a quick sketch of the manor. Looks like the place is stuck between several old buildings, so the interior is most probably quite narrow. There's a sewer access nearby, so I can always use it to break into the manor grounds. Though I'd rather avoid the awful stench coming from there. I haven't seen Dahlquist in years, so I don't know if his information is truly accurate and reliable. But if it is, this job should be painless and profitable. And I really need the money right now. It does seem like money is harder to come by for Hume than it was for Garrett. That's for damn sure. All right, so break into Messer Halliford's manor, steal his precious vase... Somewhere in the upper floors. Uh, he also has an expensive golden clock. We'll take that. 100, 800 worth of valuables, sure. Don't murder people. Don't murder innocents. Unarmed people. Easy. Very straightforward stuff. I, I, I like the kind of multimedia... Um, oh, I haven't seen this screen in a long time. <laughs> Uh, I like the multimedia um, approach to the the cutscenes a lot. This is, this is really charming about the first one. Oh, buy the gossip. Always buy the gossip. Yeah, yeah. Uh, five water arrows doesn't feel like a lot. How much is the healing potion? 250? Water arrows are cheap, at least. All right, let's, I mean, you know me. You will need the healing boss. I love you. How but... dare you? Moss Arrow is your favorite. Moss, I mean, fuck a Moss Arrow, actually. One thing that I did see in the, um, in the text for the mod is that uh, you can now water a Moss Arrow and it will, the Moss Arrow, the Moss area will grow larger. You shoot water arrows at the boss. Oh, 
That's really clever. Is, I like that a lot. That is kind of neat. I do. I do kind of like that. All right, let's create a save here so that uh, create a quick save as well so that I don't accidentally load us into the previous level. All right, Grippa meets the finest cuts. So we're here. <laughs> Thank you, Dolquist. The place is quite large but narrow. Basement? Question mark? Yeah, there might be one. Hard, to, hard to say, really. Okay, well. It does seem pretty easy to get down to the sewers. Hello there, sir. I am just out for a perfectly legal nightly stroll. Uh-oh. Someone think this is funny? <sighs> oh, well. So that guy was running from what appears to be one of Halliford's guards. What's your deal? Do you have a you have a situation? You want to explain yourself to me? No. I was hoping he had, like, pocketed a key or something, you know? Yeah. No such luck. But I think it was a reasonable... It was a reasonable thought to pursue. Yeah. It is quite dark in the city at night. Hmm. Hi. Can I, can I come visit the Halop... The man... What is he? He's a duke? He's a... Me I think they call him Messer. Probably not a duke. Probably just a rich monkey muck. Just some rich asshole. Okay, four battle axes. Very good quality overall. One has a blade that's a bit dull. This is an arms dealer. There's a sword oh, that I'm we... not allowed to steal. Oh, that's... Did we read the gossip? Oh, I didn't. No, good point. Uh, first of all, here's this message from Dahlquist. I have no idea if you've ever used these smoke bombs from Jordan to Mephodius, but I thought giving a couple to you as a token of my appreciation for you taking this job and not braining me was a good idea. I know you've told me you don't give a damn about creepy crawlies ever since your stay in jail and in the work camp, but if you ever find yourself surrounded by a few nasty critters, just throw these at them and they'll skedaddle faster than you can say by the builder's arse. If you're going to get this letter that tells you this, it, I, I feel like it does somewhat decrease the... Um, like the interest of exploring and finding the text yeah. explaining them in the first level. Just don't yeah. read these fumes, you hear me? They're not strong enough to send you to sleep, but they are potent enough as to give you one strong headache and a loss of control over your body. That seems pretty uh, pretty bad. I have no idea who these manufacturers are, but their toys sure can do some damage. I doubt you'll have to use them on Halliford's Lazy Bastards, but you never know. Okay. All right, and then the gossip we purchased... Word on the street is that Halliford's captain of the guard has quarters in a tower with broken windows that still haven't been repaired. Okay. Well, I might have deduced that on my own from the fact that the captain of the guard's house is marked on the map as, like, a significant location. It seems, it seems yeah. fairly obvious that it's a... Yep, okay. I was like, I wonder if he'll respond to this. And the answer is, yeah, just the way he ought. I'm going to find a shadow or something to lose him in. I need to, like, break line of sight and then hide in a shadow somewhere. There are no shadows around that corner. Wow. Wow. You were killed quite aggressively there. Yeah, it took him a while to swing, but when he did, he... Well, he's a charge character. The problem is he chased he chased me all the way over there and the, then he had to hold down back for two seconds. All right, it is funny like you don't get a notice or anything. It's not like hey, don't touch that. Yeah. Okay, so this guy's drinking from the fountain. Hey, you over there, halt! And he's like, hey, don't do that. And then I'm like, this, which he doesn't see me do. Then I walk away. Do you think he'll try to switch it back? I do not. 
my guess is no. We'll see. I do want to go over and check out the captain's um, quarters before we do anything else. Constable Thraves, before I begin my plea, I must assure you that I'm an honest pie seller. My pies are made with 40% of identifiable meat, which is not something everyone can claim in these parts. Uh, that's That come fresh from the slaughterhouses in Grimstock. I even sell them at a price where I'm basically cutting my own throat into the pies. That's why they taste so good. It began <laughs> like this. At first, it was nothing but youngsters with nothing better to do than, co uh, than coming in front of my stall and caterwauling mockingly. That wasn't hilarious, but it was somewhat entertaining at the beginning. <laughs> Who is this guy? Now it's a whole bunch of jack jackabons that have the nerve to accuse me of using cat meat in my jelly pies every taffing day. My reputation is beyond ruined. Nobody buys from me anymore. I followed one of these imps, and to my surprise, they led me right in Barryone Street, where the so-called Honorable Guild of Tart, Pie, and Tort Makers Guildhall is. I even saw the little brat getting paid by those taffers. They tried to enlist me several times in the past, but I always refused. It's a smear campaign, nothing less. I won't allow it, so I write this missive to you. Please help an honest pie seller like me, not one of these charlatans who use smear tactics and outright libel against independence. Does the concept of libel exist in the city? That seems... I don't. I guess I don't know. What is the what is the like the British legal tradition of libel? How far back does that stretch? I'm not a hundred percent. Maybe this is rooted in something sure. real. Uh, okay, yeah. P. Engelvin, mad about cat pies or whatever. Mad about not cat pies. Pies that are not cat pies. God, I watched so many episodes of that show. Mad about not cat pies and like. I don't know, there's a joke there somewhere, I'm going to stop. Yeah, I was just going to let you finish the bit, because I'm curious what the punchline sounds like. <laughs> I didn't, didn't have one. Jacqueline, I've been hearing odd noises coming from the eastern subjunction. Now, I'm no stranger to those. These sewers are older than the builder himself, but I've never heard anything quite like this before. It sounds like rattling and high-pitched squeaking. I've worked underground long enough to know that's not gases escaping from pipes. The problem is, the subjunction is right under the Messer's grounds, and is off limits to us, but an inquiry has to be made. Do you know anyone at the department who can provide a writ of access? Oh, that's interesting. Like, we could maybe pose as a, an inspector or something, potentially. According, according to my friend Dr. Wikipedia. Yeah. Uh, a real doctor. Yeah. In, like, the 1400s in England, defamation of a commoner was known as libel or slander. And defamation of a member of the arist aristocracy, aristocrat, of the mucky mucks, yep. yeah, was something different called scandalum magnatum. So huh. uh, the word's been around for a long time, but I don't know when the, you know, slander is spoken, libel is written, or it's the other way around. I don't know when that distinction came about, but that's. But apparently the word's been around for a while. Well, this is a spooky way to go. I don't... I want to check out the captain's situation. Hey, free flash bomb. I mean, it's too small for there to be hammer haunts in here. Amabelle? Yeah? Are you being Why? Are you being nice? Are you being helpful right now? Yeah, because I, I don't think it's as creepy as you think it is. I think you'll be fine. There is a guy looking right... I probably shouldn't just take these coins with that guy looking right at me, right? No, What's probably not. Are you selling things? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's just hanging out. Doesn't mind if people open and close his cigar box. Just kind of a very chill dude. I could eat my own boots. Stay a while and listen. <laughs> Ugh, that, was, that was terrible. That was not a good Deckard Kane. It's been a while in my defense. Alright, so 800 treasure value. I'm assuming we'll be able to get enough inside the place, but also, you know, I'm still, still trying to keep my eyes open because yeah. we did not find very much in excess of what we needed in that last level. Well, I'm wondering if what there was I, more to the orphanage. What am I looking at there? 
Those are mushrooms. That's what that is. Okay, never mind. Has sort of a goldish color to them, you know? Yeah. Hmm. Where does this ladder go? There's just like a boardwalk up here. Very little boardwalk. I think that was a gas arrow? Uh, and if so, that was extremely worth the detour. It's also the kind of thing that we save after. Okay. Thank you, Hume, for not taking any damage while clumsily falling off of that ladder. This is a, um, this is a mighty small door. Judgmental. Yes, I, I am judging that this door is insufficient for the task of allowing people into that building. I think it's okay to be judgmental about that. So, okay, hold on. Where, where the captain's quarters is this building. So here's the, here's the um, overpass depicted here on the map. Okay. So these windows, the windows are broken, right? It might not be these windows, but some windows somewhere are broken. Uh, those definitely don't open. I mean, they didn't look like they opened, so I'm not surprised, but it's, you know, it's the one piece of information we have. Yeah. Are there windows? Oh, there's something up there. Okay. Hmm. All right. Crawl up on this. And get me to here. I can probably make that. I'm definitely going to quick save. Okay, cool. This guy's got to have valuable stuff, right? Oh, no. Okay, that's a that's a sword tip right there. It's kind of like Metal Gear Solid, like the guards. The guards have a visible sort of like cone of perception, except it's the blade of the sword that they never ever sheathe. Okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything going on in the fire here. There's a little bit of money, and also I'm going to steal this bread. All right, we're in. We have a start. I would much rather come in this way than through the fucking haunted sewers. Which, although they are unlikely to hold hammer haunts, are still scary. Okay. Jeez, I'm, I'm, looking, sorry, I'm looking at trying. the transcoding over there, and I'm, I'm going to turn the gamma up a little bit. I wasn't trying to make fun. It's just you're so brave. I can barely see, and if I can barely see, I know that post YouTube compression, it's going to be worse for the viewers. YouTube does not do a good job of maintaining like the the level of difference between different shades of black. Yeah, that's, that's cute and kind of horrifying. He's got his little like toiletries and whatnot. Careful, you don't want to get stuck. I'm being careful. I'm not jumping up on anything in a bathroom ever again. <laughs> I mean, that that has helped around the house. Once again, just kind of giving you room to hang yourself. With. What's up with your What's up with your jokes today? They're very uh. <laughs> I mean, no, that was a complete joke. The idea is that you jump up on stuff in the bathroom. Yeah, no, I understand. And then you stop doing it. Like that's that's a functional joke. Excuse me. I surrender. Help! Thief! Thief! <sighs> okay, I helped. Just as she asked. I really thought I got away with that. That we snuck up, we snuck up real quiet and just clunked that dude. But apparently, she's a little bit more aware than I was giving her credit for. Her back was turned. 
You know, how am I supposed to know what she's going to perceive? Okay, so I'll just leave liquor bottles and stuff, an empty box. Not actually a very useful place to be. These don't turn into... Okay, no. The rules, the rules for the bottles seem to be the same as the base game. They're only valuable if they're that sort of brownish gold. Mm. Delicious grapes? Sure. It's weird that only the eggplant made a, made a dunk noise. Let me just real quick here flip through my inventory. Oh, the dunk noise. Yep, okay. Uh, that's a that's a good that's a like you got something good, right? Yeah, usually it's like a you picked up a meaningful item sound. Like you notice it didn't okay. it didn't make it when I picked up the apples. Yeah. Hmm. All deal archery master eight twenty eight. What was that worth? A fair amount. Cool. You know, if I learned anything from playing video games, is that eggplants are always significant? Uh, no, that's not video games. That's internet chat programs that you're thinking of. What? Nothing. Think about, like, Kid Icarus. He has the eggplant wizard, and there's a uh, eggplant in, um... There's some... There, there are multiple games with eggplants. As some kind of enemy or curse. Spelunky. Does Spelunky do eggplants? Uh, Spelunky too does. Oh, interesting. You can kind of see the levels up above. I wonder. I know I, I backed up here a little bit because I was just making sure we hadn't missed any other secret doors. This candlestick is strong enough to hold my weight. Shit. That didn't work. Uh, I probably am not going to be able to get up from the candlestick to anywhere. <sighs> it's entirely possible I could stand on this, actually. Where's that noise? Hmm. Not sure where I'm hearing these guards from. It sounded like one of them was out here. We haven't actually seen anybody out here, but we also haven't out yet. That'll do it. That'll be them. All right, you ready? We're gonna do this in a location where I have a little bit of tactical advantage, or at least a lack yeah. of tactical disadvantage. You gotta stun lock them. Don't give them time to um, do the charge. Oh, damn it! You're dead, pal. There we go. All right, I took an arrow or two there. I also took a purse, so you know, swings and roundabouts. I should probably eat health potion. No. Did that guy have anything actually valuable in his purse? No. No, there was no va literally no monetary value. What did he even have the, a sa what did he even have a purse for? The noise Hugh makes when he drinks something like he's so angry at it, it's very funny to me. <sighs> what is that sound? Do you hear that? Yeah. Uh, is there like a dance club underneath? Ah, it's this fan. Okay, so here's spooky. Look at the look at the little lighting he has installed down here. Uh, also, there's like furniture. Also, there's a chunk of a statue. And remarkably, uh, nothing of value. But I guess this is a way to sneak forward if you are less clumsy than I am. Uh-oh. There we go. I was starting to think I might have gotten myself a, a tiny bit trapped.
just give this guy a second and see if he moves. If he wants to stay right there, I can approach him in a mostly carpeted fashion. If we just like stay low and quiet, I think we'll be okay. Mm-hmm. One step What's across tile. Oh, this is the front gate. Don't think you can hide for long. Just close that. Damn it. <laughs> That's not how that works. What's a safety feature, right? If the gate <laughs> if the garage door detects somebody. I hate that little like low oh. low swipe they can do. You have nothing. You have nothing similar in your move set. Nothing. Nothing that Garrett slash Hume can do with a sword is anywhere near as fast as that like underhand attack. Yeah. Oh my God, Hume just fucking put the body down. Okay, none of those are lootable candlesticks. Got Hume. We've somehow got a protagonist here who is clumsier. And less maneuverable than Geralt. If you can imagine, so Geralt? Garrett. Garrett is the name of the thief man. Geralt is a different uh, is a different man. This is proper yeah. creepy. Those it's mannequins have human faces. Alright, somebody is slumbering beyond this door. None of these paintings look fiddleable. This is just a big, a big weird obelisk. Definitely nothing to worry about there. I mean, really, is any obelisk not weird? I can't believe it. One of these fat good for nothing spilled beer all over the floor in the upstairs sitting room. The sir will be furious if he sees it. The sir should pay his guards better if he wants them to behave professionally. <sighs> what if someone hears you? Do you want to have your pay withdrawn for another month? I, for one, think it's about time we had a raise for our hard work. The sir can certainly buy his awful exotic items and offensive paintings without any financial issues. Surely he can throw a penny or two our way. Well, that would certainly be nice. Bring me some water, would you? I have to clean this. Hmm. You Someone know, get they're... over here! He has a soul! They're, they're not professionals. It's... Yeah, no, I'm I'm not trying to make fun. But... In a way, but in a way for it's kind sure, of charming. But for sure, rough. Rough line reads yeah. there from that, from that poor woman. Okay, lots of sausages. Garrett will not eat sausages. He really is a vet sorry, Hume. Uh, sticks to vegetables while on a mission. You don't wanna you don't wanna get bloated. And these people are not gonna have anything of value. That's kind of like their whole identity, right? But they do yeah. have a passage to an upstairs area, including a chest full of God knows what, but I looted it, so. That feels like something Thief Gold could have fixed. To, like, just tell us what's in the chest. Right? There's probably nothing in this room. What do you think? Did I just put him down with one shot while he's sleeping? Sure. You were right. That does work. The guy does not have anything of value. He did he did fall in a sort of hips propped kind of mm -hmm. hmm. I'm not I was expecting you I'm to not, just knock him out when you said with one shot. I didn't realize you were talking about shooting him murdering him with an arrow while he was asleep. He's a that guard. Feels yeah. Don't you know your Bible? I, I mean, yes. I was canonically uh, second place state Bible quizzing champion. 
Oh dear. As a child. Well, then you ought to know. I ought to know what? Uh, thou shalt not. Where's this joke going? What, what are your jokes today? How's that feel? <laughs> thou shalt not suffer a guard to live. Listen, I've been, I've been doing oh, this guard. a long time. I know how it goes. You let that guy live because you're like, yeah, he's asleep, and I just, you know, what about mercy? And then he kills me with a sword from behind three minutes later after I've made some kind of embarrassingly loud noise by falling off of an object. I'm a professional here, all right? It's weird, these little, these little metal bells are not worth anything. They look like treasure. They have been constructed to look like treasure. That's definitely loot. I wonder... He's just not a music lover. I wonder if I could grab on to... I hate the faces. Why are there so many faces in this place? Why is everybody's decor face-based? It's very face-forward. What's the name of this mission again? Uh, the House of 1000 Creepy Faces. I definitely can't get up there. I'm going to try something inadvisable. <clears throat> that's why it was... That's why it was inadvisable. The penalty, the penalty for failure there was likely to be high. This is a weird little plant life chamber behind his... Huh. So you'll notice that the thing was Where Old Faces Fade is the name of the level. Yeah. So maybe that's why there's so many faces. But like the pri my primary problem with these faces is how unfaded they are. Ridley, my friend. Who want to play some truffle or did with me? Y yes. Sorry, pal. I didn't take my cards with me this time. Don't worry. I have mine. Oh, boy. I should have stayed in bed. Are they doing like a vaudeville routine? What's going on here? To be upset about this game. Look, why not play a funny game for a change? Like, well, like pheasants and wheat. Aw, oh, come on. Truffle and din's the best. Just wait until we divide the total amount of black puddings on the head and double the same amount with the five last red jacks on the... I said no. Okay. How about the High Watch variant? It's the same rules, but without the melding. And we say Truffle Din Din each time we have the Valor of 44 Hammer Priests, and... How about I play with someone else? All right, all right. Oh, what about Boshard Fork? Or Black Treacle? Tough <laughs> off. <clears throat> This is a riff on medieval card games, or hey, uh, with no I with with melding, it's probably more like Germanic card games of the 1700s. I would assume, kind of like Pinochle or something. See this this right here. This is what you're here for, the subject matter expert. Because I don't think melding games were real big until the 1700s. I could be wrong on that, but. I just like carved a huge chunk out of that dude's ass. Did you see the shape of what was remaining of his torso? It's crazy. Yep, good job. So Amabel, I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. Can you explain melding in the in the context of games? <laughs> Card games? Yeah. Yeah, so um melding in a um I think in a trick taking game? It's been a while. I think Euchre's a melting game. Okay. Um, hang on. Let me. So let me consult my friend Doctor Wikipedia again. <laughs> All right. Uh, so a, a meld is a set of matching cards, typically three or more, that earn a player points and allow them to deplete their hand. So like runs or sets or groups, you know. Yeah. You play them from your hand, and that's a meld. A lot of melding games that I know, like Pinochle, let you meld with cards that other players have played. 
And so that's kind of how that works. Um, Who goes there? So they're not actually quite not quite similar trick taking games at all. I did have those. I don't have a lot of experience playing either of those. Like I, I had a pinochle set once and tried to play it to you know learn like what pinochle is, but I didn't find it really. It was not my cup of tea. But those it is there's a whole category of games that are uh, like folk games uh, that spread can't hide for long. Uh, through Europe in the 1700s. And I'm more familiar with Germanic ones uh, because they then spread to the United States like Euchre did. He saw me from across the way. I was just waiting for him. I knew I knew he was coming over here and that he knew the floor plan better than I did. So I was just waiting for him to to arrive. Yeah. People try to teach me Euchre several times and like I can, I cannot seem to Yes, yeah, so like a lot of the viewers are probably not going to be so familiar. Here's that fancy golden clock. Check that right. shit out. Those look expensive. But That's an upside down statue. You've played some Euchre? Yeah, I've played some Euchre. So, like I was saying, saying no. viewers are probably not going to be you're saying Euchre like it's a thing everybody knows. Um, it is a regional game. It's it's well known to us because we're from the Euchre region. But um, yeah, yeah, it's sort of a local a local a game that's very very popular in um, the Michigan area uh, because it yeah came over with immigrants etc. Um, sort of a trick taking yeah. No, here's a fun I don't fact. like it very much, I will say. I yeah. do know how I, I have been taught to play several times, and I have never enjoyed playing, but it is just a thing people do at gatherings around here. Yeah. A variant. Wow. So when, when, he, variant. when that lady said offensive paintings, I'm assuming this is what she meant, that just there's a lot of boob paintings around here. Uh, and yeah. not, not that he's like collecting, you know, art of like gory subject matter or anything yeah or or like actually loot art yeah yeah um uh but fun fact about euchre is so there is a variant of euchre where there's um an additional kind of trump card a, a bower and for that they created like two extra cards and the that is where jokers come from that is why a 52 card pack of, of of cards has those you know actually has 54 and has those two uh joker cards was because of the popularity of that variant of euchre oh interesting i uh, have only played euchre with bowers i have not uh, played the other the other version we'll find you soon enough <laughs> sounds like he's already found me but he's having trouble getting his arrows through this curtain because his arms are very small and noodly <clears throat> he managed to shoot just sort of into the corner of the wall well i'll take those the funny thing is if you t if you kill an archer guard from behind mm -hmm. and you move his body you don't gain any arrows at all but if you manage to bait him into shooting near you a couple of times, he just he magically produces arrows out of nowhere that you can then pick up. There probably ought to just be arrows on the guards, you know? Yeah. Especially since in the long run, like the value of a broadhead arrow is very close to zero. You're not really realistically, you're not gonna be like running out of broadhead arrows very often. Um and you can't like sell them meaningfully. It's not like it wouldn't it wouldn't be a big deal to give you a bunch of extra broadheads permission and it would do a little bit for like immersion, I suppose. Yeah. So I was trying to find my way around to here. Because these cups look valuable. And indeed they are. Alright, I'm a little turned around. Oh hey, we're at the um this is where I was trying to jump to. Which means that... Boy, the resolution of the images that they added is so much higher than the resolution of the images that were already in the game. So there's like definitely some yeah. real creepy details going on here, right? We're talking about card games and whatever. But like, 
upside down statues. There's faces everywhere, and many of them are positioned in very creepy ways. I don't care for that painting. The guy just he looks menaced. He makes me feel menaced, just being near him. You know, it's also interesting that we, um, the mission was prefaced with, like, creepy trickster magic stuff. So yeah. I wonder. I mean, uh, yeah, I, I guess, I guess for me, I kind of thought that was just, like, maintaining the form, right? Because the missions in Thief 1 had that stuff. Sure, but, but, but you're right. You're right that it could be. So this is something. I also can't crawl up here. I was gonna try to get on yeah. that rafter there, but like this is a thing that's happening. I mean, the thing about the thief games, especially the first two, they are horror games. Well, sure, the hammer haunts. Yeah, I mean, yes. <laughs> Legitimately, those are very scary. That's correct. But um, <laughs> but I mean, the atmosphere of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. No it's doubt. more horror. It's like there's like fantasy horror, and then also like like science fiction horror in the second one. I don't really remember the third one, what the deal was with much of it, because the third one was not. Yeah, the, my the, the yeah the first one was kind of like a a horror of the past, horror of mythology and fairy tales kind of vibe. And the second one was a, like, horror of the future. Not necessarily of the evils of technology, but, like, of the... How about... Is that just smoke from the fire? I don't know. What if you it's, put out the fire? It's very spooky. And there's a statue head just sitting on a chair looking directly at me. What, what if you shoot the fire with a water arrow? What if I leave? What if I don't be here? What if that's where you need to go? Oh, what if that's where I need to go? I'll tell you what, this map is doing a lot of, like, looping back around on the same vertical spaces, giving you a lot of opportunity to, like, see upward and downward, which is interesting, potentially. Yeah. It's really emphasizing the, um, the narrowness and the height in a really smart way. Yeah, I think the level design here is real. Like, the, this, the first level was fine, but the level design here is really... It's really standing out for me. It's like really smartly composed. I don't, I don't like this guy's taste in art. It's bad. <laughs> I don't know how obvious that is. I am seeing over on the preview monitor. That's a little dark. I'm going to turn the gamma up just a little bit more. So y'all can really enjoy this painting of a man holding a human head. It's still actually very dark on the preview. Feed. Yeah, I can't. I can't actually make it out at all. <sighs> All right, well, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to play the game like this, but I'm going to turn this off. Okay. It is, That's not it, really much better. It's crazy that it's not because it is so washed out. It looks like everything's bathed in a floodlight on my monitor. But, yeah, you're right. It didn't, it didn't change almost at all on the preview feed. That's crazy. OBS, I need you to help me out a little bit here. I mean, if, in the first game, a lot of the paintings were, like, actual paintings, and I'm and I imagine sure these are the too, right? Like, yeah. like this one. I know this one. The one of the homunculus yeah. sitting on the woman's chest. Or not the homunculus, the uh, incubus. Yeah. Why is your house like this? <laughs> Amabelle. What? No, I quit. We're done. <laughs> We're done for today? I don't, think, right. I don't think that showed up. I, I checked the preview monitor there. And I don't think you can quite see what I'm seeing here. Can you see what's directly across the hallway? A door? There's a doorway, and it's got like a, uh, a curtain a, hung yeah. over it, and the curtain's pulled aside, and there's one of those creepy faces just in the air, like looking like it has pulled the... No. I don't see the face. No, I don't, I don't like at all. it. I'm going to try to figure out. I'm going to see if I can do something. It doesn't help at all for you. It makes it, no. And it makes the whole game look horrible for me. I'm gonna see if I can do something in between episodes about the brightness issue. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if I can get um, OBS to reflect a little bit better what I'm seeing because I hate this. Okay, well don't forget to save. We're pausing it right here. That's the end of the episode. This is starting to give me bad feelings. <laughs> <laughs> it is the middle of the day. 
<laughs> my poor sweetie. It is the middle of the day and we are both in the same apartment. <laughs> but I'm getting the creepy crawlies. <laughs> That's going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. <laughs> when you come back next time, I think things are going to get a lot worse before they get better. And to be clear, this is good. This is good and effective. I'm saying the game is doing a good job. I don't mean to imply anything other than that. It's very creepy. I don't... I don't feel safe. Uh, okay. So come back next time for that, and we'll see you then.